New tonight, a fight with a local towing company puts one driver's SUV on the hook twice. Yeah, fingers pointed, tempers flaring, and it's all caught on camera. But who's at fault? NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes looks into the complaint and found this company has had a few cases before. Well, if I pull up and I park my car where I'm not supposed to, there's a decent chance that I'm going to wind up getting towed. But once you've paid the towing company, that's where the story's supposed to end. Not this story. What are you guys doing? An SUV parked legally in its designated spot at a Gastonia apartment complex. So how did it wind up hoisted up on a tow truck? I've lived in this complex for four years. Why is this happening now? I paid you 300 Going toe to toe in the video. It was just very aggressive, very violent. A guy who says he's the owner of RPM Towing and Recovery. You talking the wrong one. I'm not a motherfucking worker out here. I own this motherfucker. And the owner of the car sitting behind the wheel. Girlfriend was telling me they're taking your car, they're taking your car. Anthony Spano admits he parked where there's no parking allowed. Parking in the grass is my fault. Says he ran inside to take a quick shower, but while he was inside. Four guys from RPM Towing were outside, ready to take the car. I peeked through the blinds and I saw that they were towing his car. Spano wasn't happy. So I ran outside in a towel. But he says he paid the 300 cash the company demanded, then asked for a receipt. I told him, go ahead and get off my property now. Thank you very much. Spano moved his car to its proper spot and the towing company left. Or so he thought. I look out the window and he is circling around back to my car that's parked legally in my parking space. They came back claiming Spano ripped their receipt book. Watch what happens next. So you go to work today. Paid you $300. Yeah, you know me out of the 60 for that book that you up. Spano's girlfriend got her camera rolling. My heart's racing thinking about it now. The owner of the towing company hooking up Spano's car again, preparing to tow it. I mean, you have four men violently talking to us or yelling at us, threatening us. As payback for the ripped receipt book. I didn't up anything. You're I watched stupid. you, dumbass. Boy, he ripped it out of my hand. Yeah. Legally, he can't do that. A ripped receipt book is not a valid reason to tow someone's car. Turns out, records show RPM has a history of complaints about their towing practices. Police actually got involved last year after RPM booted a truck and charged the driver $1,600 to remove it. Gastonia police actually sent this letter, banning RPM from operating at one property until the company learned how to comply with city ordinances. Rip the piece off of Right after this video stopped, the towing company dropped Spano's car and didn't charge him anything else. Experts say if this happens to you, the best thing you can do is get video. Call police. Yeah, call I am. Police. Go ahead, 911. And call police. Screaming in your face is not, not one, a way to do business, I wouldn't think. And, you know, two, it's very scary. <laughs> I called the towing company and spoke to a man who said he's the owner, but he does not want to go on camera. He tells me that it was the owner of the car who got aggressive with him, and he insists that that man ripped his towing book, and that is why he hooked the car up a second time. I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. If you have a story you want the Defenders to look into, email them at defenders at WCNC.com. You can also call or text. The number is 9802-WCNC36.